Are you a student with no interior design skills, but still want to spice up your flat? Then you need these five basic essentials that every student flat needs to have. Nothing will show off how hip and spiritual you are like Poundland lights shoddily duct taped above your bed. When you Instagram your fairy lights, make sure to slide that lo-fi filter up to 100 to really show off just how festive yet polished your bedroom is. Give your flat personality through the use of a quirky knickknack. This little guy here is Carl. Now you know how quirky and wacky I am. Introduce him to everyone who enters and watch how impressed they are with your quirkiness. He's like our flat mascot, you'll tell everyone who enters. Until the day you have a flat party and the knickknack is stolen and thus the cycle continues. The centerpiece of any student flat is of course, the humble traffic cone. How else can you prove you've had a wild night out without having one of these bad boys in your living room? As is always true in life, size really does matter. So make sure it's the biggest, most space consuming cone you can possibly find. As the saying goes, the bigger the cone, the madder the laugh. Kill two birds with one stone and use your empty pre-drink bottles to add a sense of style to your home. Impress your friends with your alcohol tolerance as they say, wow, that's a lot of alcoholic beverages you've drunk. You must be really cool. Ha ha ha, yup. And the final essential that every student flat needs? No flat is complete without a table to cry at. Every student needs a place for you to sit and stare at your lecture notes and think, what am I even doing? I haven't been to a single lecture this semester, I've always been too hungover to go. Maybe if I spent Thursday nights in the library instead of stealing ornaments from flat parties, I'd actually have a chance at this exam. Oh my god, what have I become? So those are my tips for decorating your student flat. How about you? How do you decorate your flat? Do you have a flat mascot? Let me know in the comments below. Oh, and remember, when the landlord comes to visit, make sure to hide all your decorations under the bed.